The number one question I get from my clients and potential new clients is what do I do with lumps, bumps, and fibrosis after liposuction? Help, I have lumps. Um, what can I do to get rid of them? So I'm going to show you some things that I show my clients and give to my clients in my studio here in San Diego. Um, my name is Kathleen Lisson, and I'm a certified lymphedema therapist and board-certified massage therapist. I'm the author of the Plastic Surgery Recovery Handbook. This is um, available on Amazon. And Chapter 5 is completely, dis um, completely devoted to um, lumps, bumps, and fibrosis. So let's get into some of the tips I share in the book, and I'll show you the things that I give to my clients. So the first thing I want to do is um, check out what their compression is like. So I usually like people to follow a recipe similar to this. Um, we start out next to the skin with the tank top. Um, and then um, on top of that tank top, uh, we put some liposuction foam. Um, this is the foam that I stock in the office. And if my client does not have liposuction foam, I give them a sheet. Um, We'll go over here. Then, if they have not had a tummy tuck, if they don't have a scar, if they just had liposuction, uh, we can see if an ab board will help. So I have a few different sizes of abdominal boards. This will really help to um, straighten you up and give you um, a nice straight posture, which will reduce um, some of the lumpy areas if you tend to have lumps. Um, and if there's swelling in the back, there's a few different sizes of lumbar board. Now these, I've heard from clients, are not the most pleasant to wear, um, but the swelling in the low back is really um, some of the most difficult to um, get down. Um, so I've also seen um, a smaller piece of lipofoam. Um, so this is a rectangle piece of lipofoam. It comes in a package of two. Um, and these are good if you have... Um, a little bit of swelling on the flanks, you need a little bit more coverage with foam. Um, you can also take this regular foam and cut it um, with scissors to whatever um, you want it to fit. So if there is fibrosis, I use the same uh, techniques that I learned in um, the class that I took to become a certified lymphedema therapist. This is from Medi. Um, it's a company that sells medical lymphedema products. Um, and this is some dot foam, so you can see there's, um, it's kind of corrugated, there's a dot, um, dots of foam on it. So we put this against the skin, um, and then right over where the fibrosis is, the dots will um, kind of make a little indent in the skin, and then as the client moves around during the day, it will give a little massage. Um, if we need some uh, more... Um, Serious help, um, this is a pad that is from Jopes. It's called the Joby Pack. Um, it's a pit pack, so there's actual cherry pits in here. Um, so it's very, very hard. And this put underneath some compression um, can really make a difference in some serious fibrosis. This was designed um, especially for people with lymphedema that have fibrosis. Um, so I use these tools because they come to me for my education as a lymphedema therapist, and I'm pushing them into the post-plastic surgery world. Um, so if you come for the massage with me, um, we do some deeper techniques to get um, reduction in fibrosis. I also use um, cupping. So this is not um, traditional Chinese cupping, which will leave a red mark on the skin. Um, this is more of a lymphatic cupping. We're using the negative compression and um, specific types of movement to reduce the scar tissue. And something else that also reduces scar tissue is um, instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. Um, so I took classes in this, um, both a lower level class and an upper level class, and I used the techniques that I learned from that class, which are mostly used on athletes, um, to reduce scar tissue. We can also reduce scar tissue and fibrosis in a client who had plastic surgery and then has um, just a little bit of fibrosis and scar tissue afterwards. So that's in addition to um, what I always give clients, which is manual lymphatic drainage, um, which is what I, the type of massage I learned um, in my class that I took as a certified lymphedema therapist, and that reduces swelling um, using the body's lymphatic system, and then what happens is it's a gentle skin stretching massage. It's very peaceful. It doesn't hurt at all. 
um, and um, it will eventually, um, you'll urinate it out. You'll just pee a lot, and that's how we know that the massage is working. And I have a lot of clients that will come here for the massage, and um, they can barely pay me, and they have to go immediately to the bathroom, which I always say is um, the body saying, hey, it worked. So these are some of the tips um, that I use. A lot of these things can be purchased online. Um, if you can't see me, I would definitely recommend... Um, if you've had liposuction, to always have um, foam underneath your compression garment. And then, so what I would say is, um, for the recipe, is to start with um, start with a tank top. You can even get a compression tank top if you want a little bit of extra compression. Um, then we add the foam. Then if you have... Um, if you have not had uh, abdominal plastic, if you haven't had a tummy tuck, you can add an ab board if you think you need one. And then on the very outside is that compression garment or um, a waist trainer over a compression garment. And then if we need to add in um, some extra pieces to help to reduce that fibrosis, we can add them in um, inside as well. And I would definitely say um, contact your local um, lymphatic drainage therapist and get a session of manual lymphatic drainage so you can help reduce that swelling after surgery. Um, if you found this video helpful or you think it would help someone else, definitely um, tag some of your surgery sisters um, if you know them or um, get the uh, link to this video and definitely send it to them because I think the more we help one another, um, the more everyone can learn from one another and we can have a great recovery to our surgery. Thank you and have a good day.